At least 60 people were killed after Hurricane Ian hit the United States. Following the hurricane, life-threatening storm surges were reported in Florida, causing widespread destruction. Hurricane Ian made landfall as a Category 4 storm on Florida's southwest coast on September 28, sweeping away homes and communities. Fort Myers Beach, a coastal city on a barrier island, is among the worst hit areas with storm surges nearly reaching the roofs of some houses. Of all the hazards that hurricanes bring, storm surge is the greatest threat to life and property along the coast. It can sweep homes off the foundations, flood riverside communities miles inland, and break up dunes and levees that normally protect coastal areas against storms. Storm surge begins over the open ocean. As a hurricane reaches the coast, it pushes a huge volume of ocean water ashore. Storm surge happens as pressure falls in the hurricane's center and the water level rises. Water level heights during a hurricane can reach 20 feet or more above normal sea level. With powerful waves on top of it, a hurricane storm surge can cause catastrophic damage. The strong winds of a hurricane push the ocean waters around and cause water to pile up under the storm. The height and extent of this pile of water depend on the strength and size of the hurricane. As the water moves towards the coast, other factors can change its height and extent including the seafloor. If a coastal area has a seafloor that gently slopes away from the coastline, it is more likely to see a higher storm surge than an area with a steeper drop-off. Moreover, the shape of the coastline can also shape the surge. When a storm surge enters a bay or river, the geography of the land can act as a funnel, sending the water even higher. Other reasons include ocean tides and sea level rise.